Okay, uh, Psalm 33, verse 17. And horse is a vain thing for safety. Neither shall he deliver any by his great strength. Okay. Uh, verse 18. Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him. So if you fear Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, you have nothing to worry about, man. Okay? Upon them that hope in his mercy. Right. Who's hoping in the Lord's mercy? The hopeful elect. Why? Because, I mean, Lord's will, if I'm of the elect, Lord's will, you sincere uh, brothers who are, who are hoping to be of the elect, you know, we, we are prisoners of hope. We can only hope to be of the elect because we don't we don't know who's of the elect. Okay. I mean, we we've, we've seen several brothers brothers come into this thing. They was on fire, you know. They was bringing out all kind of precepts. You would have you would have thought he, he he was one of the top chosen men of the Lord. And now look, man, he back in the world, and now he he become a scoffer, a demon, you know. So you know it's important to be humble in this thing. For as it is written in the book of James, the Lord resisteth the proud, whereas he giveth more grace to the humble. So, so we gotta we gotta be humble in this truth, brothers. We gotta be humble, man. The, 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 the Lord looks upon a man in this truth that is humble. You know, who, who does not think highly of himself, who does not think himself to be something. Okay? The Lord is looking for the humble, the meek. Yeah, how would I even said it best in the book of uh, Matthew? Let me get that real quick. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 5. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Okay? So just real quick, let's look up the word meek. And uh, I'm going to just give this a second to load up. Let's type in, let's look up the definition of meek. Because it's very important to be humble in this thing, okay? And I'm going to show you why. Come on, man. I said the definition of meek. I'm not looking for meek mill. Besides, that dude is not meek. Okay, so the definition of meek, quiet, gentle and easily imposed on submissive that's the point man you got to be submissive not everybody who come into this truth is submissive to the apostles and elders of great millstone man a lot of people come into this truth and they have the mentality of they're gonna be the top dog you know somehow they're going to surpass the elders and, and, and they're going to just go out there and, and, and teach no man you got to be submissive okay Matter of fact, there's, I got a scripture for that. I'm going to go ahead and close that out, all right? Submissive. You got to be submissive in this thing, man. You got to submit to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, and, and to the elders and apostles which he have set up over us to teach us and guide us. Okay? Okay, Hebrews chapter 13, verse 17. Obey them that have rule over you. Who has rule over us? Okay, our camp leaders, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Okay, and submit yourselves. The word submit means, means to give over to. So, you know, you got to give yourself over to, 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 to those that watch over you, you man. Why? For they watch for your souls. You know, they watch for your souls, man. They're not just watching for world events. They're watching to make sure that you don't go off, man. Because if you go off, they got to correct you. Because if, if they don't correct you and you continue to go off, then Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah is going to end up casting you out of the truth. But your blood will be required at the person's hand who did not warn you. Okay? So they watch for your souls. 
as they must give account that they may do it with joy and not with grief, but that is unprofitable for you. Okay? So you gotta, you know, you gotta be humble in this truth, you know? That way when hell break loose, man, you know, most High is gonna look upon the humble because the elect is gonna be humble before Jacob's trouble and during the time of Jacob's trouble. Well, well, definitely during the time of Jacob's trouble. I don't see how anybody can be proud during the time of Jacob's trouble, man. But, uh, you know, you know, the elect is gonna be humble before Jacob's trouble and after Jacob's trouble. Now, let me show you a, a, a reason why it's important to be humble in this truth. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter six, verse 16. These six things doth the Lord Yahweh hate, and Yahweh Shai hate, because Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, they hate too, you know? They don't just love, they also hate. So these six things doth Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai hate. Yea, seven are even an abomination to them. An abomination is a detestable, vile, or filthy act. Verse 17, a proud look. That was the very first thing listed. A proud look. The Lord hates a proud look. So if, if you know, if you got a proud look on you, if, if you're proud within your own mind, you got these proud thoughts, then you need to fast and humble yourself and pray to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai to remove those proud demons from you. Because the Lord is not coming to save the proud. We have nothing to be proud of. We have nothing on this side. We have nothing in this, in this society, man. We don't have anything. So there's nothing to be proud of. So we, 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 we gotta be humble, man. Humble, we, we, we gotta be very humble in this truth, man. So the Lord hates a proud look. And that's the point. So now, let's go back to the book of Psalm, chapter 33, verse 17. And a horse is a vain thing for safety. Neither shall he deliver uh, any by his great strength. Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy, to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. So don't, don't worry about starving in a time of famine. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai is going to look out for you. He's going to feed you. And I'm going to get that too. Our soul waited for Yahweh, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. He is our help. Okay, he is. There goes the Lord's name again. Yahweh. Yahweh's name means he is. Yah, he, Hawa is. Yahweh is our help and our shield, okay? But in this case, we're, we're, we are to say Yahweh Bashum Yahweh Shai. Why? Because we, we cannot pray directly to the Father, man, okay? As it is written, our righteousness are as counted as 50 rags, okay? So in order to reach, in order to reach Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, we gotta get through His Son first. got to pray to his son first, man. And then his son will, will relay the message to the Heavenly Father. So, because Yahweh Shai is that mediator between us and the Heavenly Father. Between us and the Heaven... Between us and the Heavenly Father. For our hearts shall rejoice in him because we have trusted in his holy name. Let thy mercy, O Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, be upon us. Right. Okay. The hopeful elect. You know, we're hoping that Yahweh, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, will have mercy on us. According as we hope in thee. Why? Because we are prisoners of hope. 